Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to crochet Chubby Cube Amigurumi. This is the fourth Amigurumi basic shape series. Did you notice that I use primary colors for the shapes? These cuties are inspired from children building blocks. Please like and share this video as it will help the channel to grow. Thanks! These are the materials you will need. Any yarn and hook of your choice. I will be using green DK yarn and a 3mm crochet hook. Stitch marker, yarn needle, scissor, some fillings of your choice. Scrap of dark brown and light green yarn for the face embroidery and a stitch counter if you have one. First, we start by creating a magic ring. As usual, I'll be linking some slow motion video tutorials in the top right hand corner throughout this video in case you need extra help. Round 1, 4 single crochet in the magic ring. Grab a stitch marker and mark the first stitch. Tighten the magic ring here by pulling the end tail. We are going to join the live stitch to this first stitch to begin our round 2. Round 2, 4 invisible increase. We will end up with 8 stitches at the end of the round. To do invisible increase, We'll be doing single crochet to the front loop only and then single crochet to both of the loop. Mark the first stitch in the round. That's the first invisible increase done. Three more to go. Invisible increase. Invisible increase and the last invisible increase. Round 3, single crochet, then 3 single crochet in one stitch, repeat this sequence 4 times in total, we'll end up with 16 stitches at the end of the round. Grab a stitch marker and mark the first stitch. So to do 3 single crochet in one stitch, we'll do 2 single crochet in the front loop only and one single crochet in both of the loop. All the three stitches will be done in the same next stitch. So this is the first front loop only stitch. This is the second front loop only stitch. And this is the third and final stitch on both loops. So that's the first sequence done. Repeat this three more times. Single crochet. Three single crochet in one stitch. What we are doing is effectively we are creating three single crochet increase in every single corner of the cube. Single crochet, three single crochet in one stitch. And finally, single crochet and three single crochet in one stitch.
round four. Single crochet. Mark the first stitch in the round. Three single crochet in one stitch. Then three single crochet, three single crochet in one stitch, repeat this sequence three times in total, three single crochet. Three single crochet in one stitch. Three single crochet. Three single crochet in one stitch. Then finish with two single crochet. We end up with 24 stitches at the end of round four. I hope all of this makes sense, but if you need extra help, let me know and I'll do a separate video tutorials on how to do this. Round five, two single crochet. Three single crochet in one stitch. Then five single crochet, three single crochet in one stitch. Repeat this sequence three times in total. Five single crochet, don't forget to mark your first stitch. I actually forgot mine so I'm gonna go back and do that now. Three single crochet in one stitch, five single crochet, Three single crochet in one stitch. Then finish with three single crochet. We'll end up with 32 stitches at the end of round five. Round six. Three single crochet. Mark the first stitch in the round. Three single crochet in one stitch. Seven single crochet. Three single crochet in one stitch. Repeat this sequence three times in total. Seven single crochet. Three single crochet in one stitch. Seven single crochet. Three single crochet in one stitch.
then finish off with four single crochet. We'll end up with 40 stitches at the end of round six. Now we're going to stop increasing and starting to work on the cube shape. For round seven, we'll be doing 40 single crochet in the back loop only. How's your day been so far? This is the last basic shape series. Next week, I'll be doing a detailed embroidery tutorial for each of the four shapes. Then I want to do some watercolor paintings while planning for what to crochet next. I'm going to fast forward and see you at the end of round 7. Round 8 to 15, we'll be doing 40 single crochet and we'll end up with 40 stitches at the end of each round. Mark the first stitch in the round. This is a time to use a stitch counter if you have one. This will form the height of the body. I'll see you at the end of round 15. Round 16, one single crochet, then 39 single crochet in the back loop only. Mark the first stitch in the round. Round 17, 5 single crochet, mark the first stitch in the round. We are going to start decreasing now, triple invisible decrease. So to do triple invisible decrease, we are going to insert our hook to the front loop of the next stitch. We are going to repeat this 2 more times, so insert it again to the next stitch and insert it again to the front loop of the next stitch. So at this stage, we'll end up with four stitches in our hook, yarn over and pull through the first three stitches, yarn over again and pull through the remaining stitches. Then seven single crochet, Triple invisible decrease. Repeat this sequence three times in total. Seven single crochet. Triple invisible decrease. Seven single crochet. Triple invisible decrease, then finish with 2 single crochet. We'll end up with 32 stitches at the end of round 17. Round 18, 4 single crochet. Triple invisible decrease. Then five single crochet, triple invisible decrease, and repeat this sequence three times in total.
finish off with one single crochet. We'll end up with 24 stitches. Round 19, three single crochet, triple invisible decrease and repeat this sequence four times in total. We'll end up with 16 stitches at the end of the round. Let's stop and close the magic ring here first. So grab your yarn needle. Weave through the top stitches only. Put the needle back through the beginning hole and pull and the hole will close seamlessly. Leave the remaining threads inside the body. Start stuffing the body here. Round 20. Single crochet, triple invisible decrease and repeat this sequence four times in total. We'll end up with eight stitches at the end of the round. Round 21, four invisible decrease. So to do invisible decrease, insert our hook to the front loop only, then insert the hook to the next front loop. We'll have three stitches on our hook, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over and pull through the remaining stitches. To finish off, leave enough tail for seaming. Grab your yarn needle. To close the hole, we want to weave through the top stitch only. Pull. Put back the needle through the middle hole, exit anywhere on the body, insert the needle to the next stitch, exit anywhere in the body. Do this a couple of times to secure it. Cut any remaining yarn and using the back of our needle, we can push any remaining yarn back inside the body. It's embroidery time. As usual, I'm using stitch markers to help me mark the location for the eyes and the mouth. I'm going to start marking from the left eye. So the left eye is located three stitches down and Two stitches from the left. It is two stitches wide. Leave two stitches gap and that's where our right eye will be. For the mouth, go three stitches down and two stitches wide. The mouth will be located at the center between the eyes. 
So grab our yarn needle. With the dark brown yarn, we're going to start with the right eye first. Starting from the inner eye, insert the needle to the mark spot. Insert the needle back to the same inner eye. Exit diagonally one stitch down as shown. Pull gently. Loop the needle inside the live stitch like this. Insert the needle back again in that exact same spot to start on the left eye now. Do the same thing for the left eye. For the mouth, we are going to first start with making a straight line. And then we're going to finish off with the two curve using the same technique as the eyes. To finish off, we are going to insert the needle back through that first beginning hole of the inner right eye. Tie a couple of knots. And then insert the needle back again through that exact same hole and exit anywhere in the body. So for chubby cube, I decided to do a smaller curve eyes than the ones in Jolly Cylinder. Cut any remaining yarn and using the back of the needle, push back any leftover yarn into the body. For the cheeks, we are just going to do four vertical lines, one stitch high, two on each side. So, which size of eyes do you like more? The big eyes in the Jolly Cylinder or small eyes in the Chubby Cube? Well, it's all up to you. I just thought I'd show you two different methods so you can decide for yourself. As always, have a beautiful day. Take care my loves and I hope to see you in my next video.